All righty, we're gonna go over some construction at Canada's Wonderland. I guess we can call it pre-construction um, for what looks like an, a really exciting project. Now, for those of you um, that know Wonderland and know the success of Winterfest, we know that indoor stuff is coming to Canada's Wonderland. It just makes sense. Um, it should already be here, and they're probably going to be in a rapid expansion phase for more indoor structures, buildings, restaurants, and dark rides for Winterfest, Halloween Haunt, and just unpredictable summer weather. So with that being said, um, there are construction markers that literally litter um, all of Vortex Hill, Firework Hill, um, this pathway, and down in between... Uh, Skyhawk and um, the Ripcord what, Slingshot Ride. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and a lot of people might think a flat ride. Well, um, actually, based off of the construction markers, it's pretty obvious what's coming to Canada's Wonderland, especially it, when you have studied color coding um, and codes and just how to measure out the perimeter of things. Um, it's extremely obvious what's coming. I... Um, I'm willing to put money down that a Fust House or a Harmony Hall is being built on the Firework Hill, um, and I think it's going to be Canadian-themed, and uh, you're going to see why. So this is one of possibly two additions coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2022. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a dark ride either in Action Theater or maybe even in this building they're building, because when you see the size of it, uh, you're going to be shocked. So if you're looking carefully, there's markings all over the pavement here. There's markings on the grass uh, in between Slingshot and uh, Skyhawk. And I'm about to show you a ton of markings over on the actual Firework Hill. Uh, it looks like they removed stakes and they switched to spray paint, but I'm not fully sure. Uh, either you're going to see orange nails, similar to what we saw for Yukon Striker as well, and a lot of orange paint and white paint with markings. You're going to see electrical markings with the white lines that indicate where electrical might go. You're going to see dig here markings um, and the perimeter of the building, as you see. So it extends very close to the pathway as where I just started, and it's going to continue to go almost all the way to the vortex vortex fence. So it's a very large building uh, that's going to be, be built here. So definitely really exciting. Maybe they can fit both a, uh, both a fest house and a dark ride in this building, a multi-use building, and it may be tiered because this is a slanted hill. It would look really cool if it like the building went over the hill, almost like a ski lodge style. Like that would be sick. So nonetheless, we could be looking at a dark ride and fest house um, combination or we could just be looking at a Foss house and a dark ride will go elsewhere but i'm definitely thinking 2022 is going to be a harmony hall fest house or a dark ride or both uh but it's definitely a, a harmony hall in this building i can't i mean in this plot of land i can't see it being anything else it just makes sense for it to be an eatery. We need a lot more indoor uh, eating establishments. And for us being one of the bigger Cedar Fair parks, it makes sense for us to finally get our uh, Harmony Hall at uh, Canada's Wonderland. And for those of you that don't know what a Harmony Hall is, it's a building uh, with a lot of indoor seating. We're talking a lot. And there's normally live performances going on while you're eating or entertainment and it's air conditioned and it's a variety of food similar to what we have backlot uh, cafe it'll be very similar to that um, and it's run like a cafeteria, but it's really good food and you get entertainment so they can have Winterfest shows in there. So it's definitely something that should already exist at Canada's Wonderland. And I'm just really excited to see evidence that we're finally getting it. Uh, we've been expecting it for a while and it finally looks like this 2022 is going to be the year for it. Um, I'm just hoping that... <laughs> The slow start to the season doesn't postpone it, but we're seeing construction markers and we're seeing markings and we're seeing signs that they're going to start construction soon. So everything's looking good so far. If we see any of this stuff disappear like we did with Yukon Striker in 2016, then we know it's probably delayed. But currently, things are looking up. Things are looking great. I know this isn't a roller coaster. A lot of coaster enthusiasts, when they hear construction update, are expecting a coaster. Don't worry. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're due. We're becoming due around 2023, 2024, 2025. Those three years are going to be, one of those years are going to be us. I'm expecting 2024, to be honest, would be our big coaster year. It's difficult to tell now because Yukon Striker was pushed back. 
And uh, it's up to Cedar Fair if that pushes everything back or does that shorten it? Like, And then with a tough start and COVID and what happened with SARS at Canada's Wonderland, are we going to see a coaster pushed up? It's definitely really difficult. We could see um, a flat ride maybe even in 2022. I do expect another edition. And we just had two kids rides. Well, we had one kid ride and a cliff jump experience in Splashworks for 2021. So I am expecting a thrill edition in 2022, whether that be a thrill dark ride um, which I would think a flying theater would fit at Canada's Wonderland in action theater perfectly, especially those new Mondial versions, or a actual thrilling flat ride, maybe like a Scream and Swing or an air, air Race. So definitely expecting one of those and this um, Fustos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update. I know it's not what everyone was expecting, like some epic, awesome roller coaster. We don't always report on that too. We're going to give you guys some cool information about future additions, whether it's a flower garden, more trees, and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks so much for supporting the channel, saying hi to us at the park if you said hi to us at the park. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this construction update, and hopefully you're having an amazing week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.